everyone, it's Tammy, and today I'm going to make this really cute pink and black dog card. I thought it was just adorable. I love that kind of dog. I think it's a schnauzer. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And my best friend had a dog like that. It's just adorable. So anyway, that's what it makes me think of. And so I colored it the color of my best friend's dog. And again, I am using the Critters at the Dog Park stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Like I said, I have several ideas with these crazy little critters. I am loving the stamp set, loving the puppies, and I love this pink and black. So I have a hot pink card, base card. This is an eight and a half by 11 that I scored in half and then cut in half, and it creates an A2 sized card, which is measures four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded like this and it is a standard card making size very nice and then i have a piece of white cardstock to go on the inside this is cut at four by five and a quarter so that it fits nicely with a little bit of an edging around so i'm going to go ahead and put this down in the middle or in the inside in the middle I guess it is the middle between these two pages. <sighs> I have been working all day today, and now I decided it was time to do a little videoing before my husband gets home. And Sorry if I'm a little discombobulated. We'll get there. And I also cut a piece of cardstock the same size for the front. This is... A piece of black cardstock that is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half no sorry four by five and a quarter so it leaves a nice edge around the top and I used this dotty, dotted embossing folder to emboss little dots on the inside so I haven't used these much but I do like them a lot so I thought I'd show that just so that you guys could see but it does have dots on it I don't know if you can see with the black and that's going to go right on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here and I am using my art glitter glue, which is my favorite crafting glue. And just put that right down here in the middle. And then I also have a couple pieces of scrap cardstock. And I just thought they were kind of cute right just in the middle. Even though they're not exactly the same color pink, I thought they were kind of fun. And at first I had thought I was going to take um, a border circle and surround it by a white circle. But then that looked too stark and white and I didn't really like it. But I did like just having it at the bottom. I thought that worked out pretty well. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And you know what, I think I'll use my cutter just to make sure it's a straight line. So I'm just going to take my circle and put it in however far I think I want it to be. It's no particular, and it doesn't have to be straight on anything because I'm just going to use this little bottom half. Or not even half, but this bottom part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down this is cardstock that I have had in my stash for a long, long time. I'm really trying to use some of my stash stuff. And it's double sided, so both sides are really cute. And I just kind of angled them one on top of the other. Uh, I think I like it more like that. Kind of went a little low. I think this piece is bigger than, yeah, it is. This piece is bigger than the piece I used over there. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. And then I'm just going to put this circle right in the middle of all of that. Deep to deep, wherever it looks good. I even kind of like it sticking out down there. I wouldn't have normally done that, but kind of a nice mistake and then this little piece I just kind of put it off kilter right about there 
and then I will need to color my little dog and the bow and make a little uh, bow with this. So this is twine that I just had in my stash and I thought it was cute. The black worked out well. I was actually looking for some black ribbon, which I think I have, but I couldn't. I have a lot of ribbon and I need to organize it a little better than it is. The best way that I know to stick rib or to put ribbons onto the cardstock is with a glue dot. So that's what I'm going to use for this as well. And I just put a glue dot right behind the knot. Now let's color this guy, or this gal. And I think I have some colors over here that I was using on it last night. I'm just trying to see what my gray colors are over here. Hmm. I like this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one for now. And I'm just gonna color the whole dog I've always liked it. I remember being a little girl and coloring with my mom and I always thought, man, you're such a good colorer. I want to color like you. And she would always take like a black crayon and outline the image, which I thought was so cool. My mom was pretty neat. She was very crafty. So I guess I get my craftiness craftiness, honestly. Sometimes I have found that with these markers anyway, I don't know about all markers, but with these, these, this is the fine color marker, alcohol marker, I can go back in with the same color and just layer it and it, it gives it another shade without having to use a different marker. And then I'm also going to use I think I am, I think this is it, my colorless blender. And I'm just gonna go over his snout just a little bit because I don't want it to be as gray. I don't think that that side's working. So I'm just taking it, lifting a little bit of the color off from her snout, I keep saying his. And I might take a little pink and go right inside here just a little bit and the cheeks. I just lifted that color off and now I'm putting it back down. Crazy. I just wanted some pink on her little cheeks. Because she's a princess. So I'm just using my pen to kind of highlight wherever. And then I'm going to take a bright pink, which is, I think, this color, but I'm going to be make sure. Yeah, and I'm going to color her little bow for her hair. And then this I'm going to just attach with some glue on her little head over by her ear. Oh, 
that's so cute. And then I'm going to use pop dots and raise her up just a little bit on the circle. here and I want to make her nose black and that is that super cute I really like it hope you do too hope you give it a try or something like it I hope it inspires you and I will talk to you all soon Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.